I've always found the idea of legacy strange. Making it the sole purpose of your fucking life. Everything you do is for others. And for the people in the future to talk about. And you'll never know them. It sounds completely fucking stupid. Do you know Alexander the Great? That's what he conquered. He conquered the entire world. And I won't get into the details of his expedition because that's not the point, that's not the point. The point is that when he died, he didn't take any of it with him. Not the money on his expedition, not the fame, not the land that he took of the Persians. None of it, he didn't take any of it. You want to know what happened to his legacy? But does that mean using legacy as your purpose in life really is that stupid? Well, this is all his legacy. Words on a piece of paper. He's not here to relish it. His family isn't here to relish it. Just a bunch of people idolizing his material conquest in order to achieve their material conquest. But sometimes I wonder what is the right way to live life? Like everybody says, you need to have a purpose, but what is the right purpose? Should it be religion? Should it be legacy? Should it be nihilism? It feels selfish, egotistical, narcissistic, you fuck. Trying to outlive time? Who the fuck do you think you are? Yet, so many people that are ambitious, so to say, successful, so to say, live by it, make it their life's purpose. And let me fucking tell you something. It's not the right way to live, and I fucking know it. But a part of me does understand why we use legacy as our purpose in life. The history of the status game, again, goes back to those tribes, the tribes in which we evolved. And so, you know, nature has to find a way of incentivizing us to be valuable people. Mm. You know, we, we, we humans can be very selfish and self-interested and delusional and you know, all those things. So how do you get these creatures that have a tendency towards selfishness to be selfless and to work for the benefit of the tribe? Well, you incentivize them with status mm. and status is, is this reward. I think this idea of a status game extends beyond our time on this planet. It almost helps us provide an ending to our hero's journey because we all want a happy ending for our audience in this story. And in life, we won't be there to see the ending to our story. And so what we do is we envision it while we're alive in the form of legacy. And it helps motivate us and even provide closure to an ending that we know that we won't be around for.
Some people can't grasp that their story's gonna end. It can't live on forever. It shouldn't fucking live on forever. Yet your brain tricks you into thinking that it can. There is a distinction I want to draw because I don't necessarily find it wrong to learn from someone's legacy or observe it. And maybe that statement in and, in and of itself shows you that there maybe is an importance to legacy because it can influence future people and the behaviors that they have and the actions that they make. But making it your purpose in life while you're alive is just something that I wouldn't do. And... I have trouble making that a definitive statement as well, because we already have so many people on the internet telling us how we should live our lives. So why should I or anyone else be the reason or tell you why you should live your life? Like what if using legacy as your purpose helps you cure cancer and wars, etc. You get the fucking idea. I think something most smart people, or intellects if you want to call them, forget about is that we're irrational. They assume in like their models, their thesis, their research papers, whatever the fuck it may be. They assume that we're rational and we'll make the rational decision. But they forget that in every instance, most of the time, humans make the irrational decision. The rational way to live life wouldn't be to adhering to this idea of legacy because once we're dead we can't control our story we can't control our status it's up to those in the future and who the fuck knows how they're going to view us and look back on us but the more i see the world for what it is rather than what it should be the more i appreciate our irrationality <sighs> now look yes we can't write an ending to our own story Yes, we can't control our image centuries from now. Heck, maybe we won't even be remembered, who knows. But we want to believe that we can. And there's a beauty to that. Because that belief drives us to do unfathomable things. Great things come from our irrationality. And legacy is the epitome of our irrationality. You really thought legacy matters, you fucking imbecile. You stupid fuck, you really are that narcissistic that you think you can outlive time, you fat fuck. Let's see you try it. How about you just die like the rest of us, but I want to see you try it, you fucking bitch.